Hello, let's learn how to update our code. First, we will need to go to our documentation and go to the updating shared hosting site. First, we need to find any change that we have made to the source code is in CSS on JavaScript and take note of those changes because this process will override them. So if you have files like those one, please download them locally or take note of what have been changed. Then you need to zip your public uploads folder. And this is because uh, you as an admin or your clients, the, the photos that are uploaded go to this folder. Then we need to uh, backup and download the env file. And this is the most important step. So let's go to our file manager and go to public HTML and download our env file. If you don't see the env file, this is because uh, show hider files is not enabled for you. So go to settings and click show hidden files. This is for cPanel. Then I will just download this uh, file. It's env3. So I'll take note of it. Uh, and then I will continue following the docs, download the code from Cool Canyon and upload the zip. Okay, I will do that. I'm going to once again to this folder and I will upload the files. The file is also on my desktop and I will upload it. It may take a few minutes, depends on your internet connection, but one it's once it's there, you should go click on go back and go to your public HTML folder. Okay, the file has been uploaded and I should click here. And I should see the file now and I need to extract it. And I will extract to the same place and this will overwrite uh, almost all the files. It shouldn't take too long and after that I should continue by uh, putting back the old env editor, the old env file. And as you saw it's already here so probably I should upload new file because this is now the new file and I need to upload my backup. So I will go to upload once again and select the file that I want to upload. Now it's in my downloads and I will upload it. And this is pretty quick. I should go back and now the env3 is the file that I need. And in this case, I will need to delete this one, confirm and change the name of this file to .env. Okay, mm, let's see what the doc says. Okay, restore your env file. After files are moved, open your domain.com slash update. In my case, it's restoqr.online. The site works okay. And I should do update. And I will get uh, not found if there is nothing to update. This is when there are tables to be, not to be updated. In this case, there there are none. There are no tables that need update. And if I go to my dashboard now, logged in as uh, admin, I will see the new version. Before it was 1.5.1, and now I can see that the version has been updated. Uh, with this video, we'll learn how to seamlessly update our code. Thanks for watching.